Alright back, this is your girl Kaya and welcome back to another Ark Survival Evolved video. Today we're going to be going over 10 of the most useful admin commands in the game. And remember, if you want to see more of myself, then you can check out the Kaya on Fire channel where you can access more of my videos. I mainly do Conan content or survival. But to start off, it's actually really essential you know how to open the console. So for PC this is very simple, it's only one key, it is the tab key and that will open a black box right there so you can type in your commands. You can press it again, it opens an even bigger one up and then if you press it again it will go away. If you want to open console on Xbox you need to enter the pause screen and simultaneously press LB, RB, X and Y and then that will open the console for you on Xbox. And then for PS4, it's the same do. You need to hold down L1, R1, square, and triangle. So all at the same time to open the actual console up. So for a server, you actually need to type admin cheat in front of every single command. So admin cheat space command. So my first tip is actually a really important tip that you can use on your servers or single player. Just to help you out, for most admins you will need this when you're doing your admin duties, but pretty much if you are to hit something or it goes mad on you, it can hit you, do a lot of damage, give you a really bad day. However, there's a much easier way to deal with this, you don't have to kill the creature, you can just instead type this command. Cheat. God. This will put you into god mode, which will make sure things cannot damage you. This will make you uh, pretty much immune to most things, so let's go and uh, hit this Bronto here, give it a punch. You can see it's still going to get angry at me, but its tail flicks are doing absolutely nothing to me. However, with this command, often people forget that this will not affect your food or your water draining meters down there, and it will certainly not affect anything like your stamina or anything like that. So my next command to actually fix that issue, cheat, infinite stats, infinite stats as one word. This will put all your stats up to the maximum all the time. So you can go around with this and it's very, very handy and you can just have full bars all the time. You don't have to worry about your food. You don't have to worry about your water. And again, with the infinite stats as well, it's very, very handy. You can even use it as a substitute for the God mode, which you can just turn off by typing it again. You can see here this Dilo is eating me, but he's not really doing anything because every time he eats me, my HP is going straight back up again. My next command is also a very important one. If you're building on single player or something, you don't want the day to be dark. You don't want all this pesky stuff here. You don't need the darkness. So, one thing to fix this, if we enter into our console, we do cheat. Space. Set time of day as one word then you're going to put in your hour so 12 so lunchtime then you're going to put in your minute we just want it to be on the hour then you're just going to put in your second we don't want any seconds this time so i've changed the time of day and you're going to see on my timer it's changed it to 12 o'clock lunchtime now let's say you've done all that but you're still naked and you want some kind of gear or weapon set etc open your console and you're going to type cheat space give armor spelt the american way set space then you're going to put in your armor type so you can either type cloth chitin metal riot, hazard, or tech. And those are the ones you can put in. So I'm going to say I want myself a full set of hazards, so I'm going to type in hazard, space, the quality now. So let's say if I wanted it primitive, it would probably be just zero or something like that. But if I wanted it to be more ascendant tier, I'm going to type in something like 10. And if you type anything in between that, you could get anything from journeyman to apprentice, you know, the lower the lower quality of gear you're going to get, the higher number, the higher the quality of gear you're going to get. So this time I want myself some decent stuff, so I'm going to put in 10, and then I'm just going to click enter. And as you can see, it actually even changes my clothes for me, which is absolutely wonderful. And here we go, 10 actually gave me a full Mastercraft set. And all the armor values are actually really similar as well. Same with the durability. 
So it's a good way if you wanted to run like a server event and equip everybody with the same kind of ish armor really quickly. That's a really great way you can do it. Then the second one that corresponds to this if you want to equip yourself very well would be give weapon set. So again, we're going to type cheat or admin cheat in space give weapon set as one word space then you're going to put in a number of weapon set zero is a bow pike spear and bowler the next number up from that is one and one is an assault rifle shotgun long neck rifle sword and grenade two is a compound bow fabricated sniper rifle rocket launcher and c4 charge and three is a tech grenade tech railgun tech rifle and tech sword so i actually you know i want number two let's say and then you want to get the quality so this time i really want it to be ascendant and amazing so i'm going to type into like 20 that might guarantee that for me and then i'm going to press enter and as you can see on my hotbar here it has given me ascendant stuff right here with pretty good damage value on it as well there we go, we have a detonator, we have a assault rifle as promised, we have a rocket launcher and you can even see it's fully loaded us with a lot of ammo so this is wonderful if you just want to pop this in to help you with the game then you might be thinking, yeah I've got my weapons, I've got my armour what about my items, what about my foods, my brews, my energy drinks, whatever else you know, my G Fuel, my freaking <laughs> Doritos, I don't know your next command will be to give item set so we're going to type cheat or admin cheat so we're going to cheat this time because i'm cheating haha <laughs> space give item set as one word and then the item set number now you have a choice of three item set number zero is 200 stim berries 90 cooked meat and two water skins number one is 200 stim berries 100 medical brews, 90 cooked meat, and 2 water jars. Number 2 is 100 energy brews, 100 medical brews, 100 cactus broth, 60 cooked meat jerky, and 2 canteens. And number 3 is 100 cactus broth, 100 medical brews, 100 energy brews, 90 cooked meat jerky, 5 shadow steaks, 5 enduro stews, 5 focal chilies, and 5 Lazarus chowders. So there you go, very nice. So I'm going to type in this time, I'm going to say I want number three, I want the whole shabam. So there we go, I've entered my command. I look in my inventory, you can see it has given everything as promised in here. So we are now fully set for whatever activity we want to do today on Ark. So the next command I'm actually going to do, you do want to strip all your important gear off of you, otherwise you will lose it when you do this command. Now this command enables you to have the ascension, so basically if you were to do the overseer fight on the island uh, at alpha level, this will give you the same exact thing. However, if you're on the center or a different map, sometimes this doesn't, this isn't actually an option for you to do. So these commands will actually come in handy for you to actually use. So for example on this one it is going to be cheat space player command. Now the player command is actually case sensitive so be careful with this it needs to be all lowercase and then space. Ascend and then you're going to pick one, two or three. One is gamma, two is beta, three is alpha. So you type it just like that for alpha and then what it's going to do is it's going to take you to the credit scene. It, if you're in single player, actually will log you out of single player. You will need to log back in again, select your character and reload in the actual map. So that's what it's going to do for you and then you're going to find yourself. Earlier I actually typed in the one that gave me the gamma. You're going to see I actually have the Gamma Ascension Implant in my wrist. That now means I have this, I can get the additional levels that this actually provides. And remember, the more you get, the more it's going to give you. So the Gamma Overseer has given me a plus 5 max level. And then of course you're going to get more and more from the other two options. So my next command is actually going to involve dyes. Dyes are a pain to make sometimes, and they're just cosmetic, so why not actually do this command here? For this command, open your console up and you're going to type in admin cheat or cheat so I'm typing in cheat space give colors 
as one word space amount mm, I'm gonna say I want 20 so I've entered this command and you're gonna see it's given me 20 of all the dies in the game so now I can go and paint my gear that I spawned in earlier for myself and there we go all the colors are there brilliant easy command to do and it's great but once I've done my colors perhaps I also want to color my dinosaur to match me now for this there's actually a really handy little page you can look at that is going to tell you all of the colours that you can actually paint a dinosaur. So for that you actually need to look up on your web browser something like Arc Colour ID or something like that and it should give you the Arc Gamepedia Colour ID section. Pretty much for this it's going to show you all of the colours available in the game that you can paint your dinosaur etc and it will also give you this little command right here so if you're on PC you can just copy paste etc. So to actually achieve what I want on the Rex, let's say I want its base coat as a red colour. Dinosaurs have set regions, some dinosaurs don't have regions like other dinosaurs do. So you might not get colours out when you do certain regions. Regions go up from 0 to 5, so there's 5 different sections on a dinosaur that you can paint. And not all of them might have this section. So, to give you an example, open your console. Cheat, space, set, target, dino, color, space, region. So I want my base coat, which is going to be zero. Then space again, and we're going to type in our color. So for red, that is actually one. There we go. You can see our Rex's main color is now red. If you want to actually see the regions that the dinosaur has that you can color, remember you can look on their wiki and that's going to show you all the regions that they actually own that you can paint. So you don't go around painting all the random colors. Or you can just, you know, just do that again and just do all the different regions. So let's do one this time. I want that in two. That was a blue on the spine. And then I'm going to do two, see if that does anything. Ah, so you can see right here as a prime example, I don't actually see it anywhere, so I'm going to assume that's not on you, buddy. You can see that the colour region of 2 does not exist on a Rex, so we'll go for free, see if that is an option either. Look at our buddy, no, that's not an option either. So then we're going to try out number 4, and there we go, we have a colour region. So you can see the Rex doesn't have all the regions from 5. But it does have a few of them in there that we can colour to make it look how we want it to look. Next command we're going over is actually levelling up our dino. Say if I have a level 54 parasaur right here, you can see that it doesn't really have much XP points to put in right there. And then I have this 22 right here that also doesn't really... But let's say I want this actual parasaur to have the levels so it could be as good as the 54 or even better. I'm going to look at this parasaur and then I'm going to type in cheat space give exp to target. Then you're going to type in your amount, so let's say I want to put in a thousand points, which isn't very much, may I just say. If you want max level, you might as well just bang in some extra zeros like that, but just for example time. A thousand, then we're going to press space. That's going to, the next command there is tribe share. So if I want the tribe to share the XP I'm giving this parasaur, I'm going to type in one, but if I don't, I'm just going to type in zero. Then I'm going to press space again, and it's going to have the next option, prevent sharing with tribe. Yeah, I don't want this either, so I'm just going to click zero again, and then I'm going to click into my enter key. Now if I look at my parasaur, you can see a thousand levels has been put into it, and I have 19 points available on this beauty. So I can in put all these levels in, there we go, wonderful. And it is just below comparable to our normal parasaur right there. So there we go, it's been beefed up a little bit with that experience, which is wonderful. Now if you wanted to do this a different way, you can also do it by sitting on your dinosaur and typing in a different command. That will actually also work for you if you're not on the dinosaur and just standing there alone and you want to make yourself level 100 or something. This will work also. But if you wanted to put it into this parasaur, give it a level up as well. We're going to hit console, 
type in cheat space add experience then it's going to ask you for the amount so i want this thing to go to max so i'm going to type in lots of zeros it doesn't really matter how many you need just bang a load in it's going to get you there someplace you know you don't need to do the exact amount <laughs> And then tribe share, I don't want to share anything with tribe zero, and then I'm going to prevent from tribe sharing as well. And then, boom. There we go. Our parasaur now has the full points available that I can shove into it, which is great. And that's only for the parasaur. I didn't level up anything by doing this because I was set on the parasaur. However, if I wanted those levels for me, then I would need to do the same command, yet not sat on anything just by myself etc and then you get the full levels that you want but anyway that's pretty much it for today i hope this taught you some new things and i hope it makes your arc experience a lot more better on the admin side of things but anyway thank you for watching i love you all and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye